Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the 2016 Royal Oak Holiday Magic Parade presented by Genesis Credit Union. My name is Andy Aubrey, and my host for this great uh, co-host for the great event, the one and only Carlo Giannotti. And a Merry Christmas to everyone. This is, of course, the 15th annual parade. And Andy, you and I have been doing this for 16 years now. That's right. We? We've yeah. uh, we've superseded this thing um, after all these years. We're just grateful they have us back, right? Yeah, yeah. That's good. You we've know. got a good parade today. We've got a little cold, but we've got tons of people here. We're ready for uh, the coming of uh, Santa Claus. That's that's really the the reason why we're here. The yeah. reason for the season, actually. It should be great, absolutely. And uh, we're looking forward to bringing you all the action. So uh, we're going to start this thing off in a couple minutes. We're going to take a short break first. Come back soon. We'll have all the action for you. <laughs> Holiday Magic Parade, of course, this year is the 2016 version of the Holiday Magic Parade presented by Andy. Genesis Credit Union. There you go. They've been a proud sponsor of this parade this year, and it looks like it's going to be one of the best parades I think we've ever had. And we got a nice crowd out here, Carlo. I mean, considering the weather, uh, these are some hearty souls. I, I think so, because uh, when we came out this morning at 5.30, I was a little doubtful that we'd have anybody. <laughs> 5.30? You were here at 5.30? Well, yeah, I... It was a long night. Okay. But here we go, Andy. We've got, of course, it wouldn't be a parade without the Royal Oak Police Department. And what do we know about the Royal Oak Police Department? Well, we do know that uh, they kick off all of our parades, and they are comprised of a group of professional men and women dedicated to the mission statement of keeping Royal Oak safe while adhering to the department's core values of integrity, service, courage, compassion, and loyalty. And who can argue with all of those? I, you're not going to hear me arguing one bit. These ladies and gentlemen uh, of our police department keep us safe every day. And of course, uh, we also have the Honor Guard, Royal Oak uh, Honor Guard, right behind. And you know, I do a lot of parades. I've been doing a Memorial Day parade for years, but this is more fun. That's a solemn event. This one's this one's fun, it's festive, right? Right. And I, we can only hope that Richard Wilson, our director in the truck, has his finger on the dump button. Oh, I'm sure he does. Because he, anything's possible with us. He's known us for uh, too long to get too Way far too away long. from the immune button. That's right. And with that, I would imagine he's probably got his finger right on that button right now. He so should. there we are with the Royal Oak uh, Police Department Honor Guard. That uh, our Honor Guard is comprised of patrol officers and command officers that assemble to honor those that have provided service to their community. Right, and after that, the Fire Department bringing up next... Did you know that the Royal Oak Fire Department has been protecting us? By us, I mean citizens of Royal Oak and visitors, too, since 1913. It's amazing. They respond to over 6,000 runs annually. They have 56 firefighters who are also cross-trained as paramedics. And uh, they put out fires, and the Royal Oak Fire Department provides advanced life support as well. Keep it up. Keep it up. They're... Uh an asset to this community, kind of like you and, uh, and you and I. Yeah. Now there's reindeer. It's deer hunting season. I, I he's awfully brazen to he's just all be by walking himself. right down in the yeah. middle of town like this. Well, this is a this is a uh, reindeer friendly town. Okay. And of course, we see the uh, hazardous material, the uh, truck as it's passing by. We have the uh, WNIC car in there. Jay Towers in the morning. And the Royal Oak Women's Club as well coming up. Uh, Royal Oak Women's Club organized in 1902 is recognized as a leader in the community. I've recognized them many times. I that recognize capacity. them right now. I bet they can't recognize us though. No, I probably to their benefit. You know, while we were chatting, we uh, we don't want to give short shrift. Short shrift, that's a good term. We don't want to give short shrift to the uh, DDA. Uh, they passed us by just a little while ago. Besides the Holiday Magic Parade, the Royal Oak DDA is a sponsor of the Royal Oak Retail Association, the Restaurant Association, and the Royal Oak Commission for Arts and the Arts, Eats and Beats. Did you know that, Andy? Now I do. That's why I'm here. Thank you. To keep you current and uh, appreciate and that. in line. We had the uh, Oakland County Sh 
That is sheriff's office. We that got, is Santa. We got a right Santa there. imposter in the crowd. No, I think he's the real guy. He's this just, is him. He's making sure that everything is. Uh, <laughs> he's a Tiger fan. <laughs> yes, he is. And there's the uh, Harmony Acres trade uh, parade horses. These are uh, Arabian parade horses from Northville, Michigan. And they bring a cheerful spirit to town, decked out in their sterling silver saddles intact. Red saddle pads enhanced with silver and Swaborski crystals. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic. We love seeing them in the parade. Look at those horses. They're a regular, too. They're uh, they a regular unit here in the parade. We also had the Royal Oak, uh, I'm sorry, the Oakland County Sheriff's Department went by a little while. Yeah, and let's, let's make a plea for all those watching and listening right now to please be responsible this holiday season, especially when you're out at holiday parties and so forth. There's people out here that love you, want to see you home safe. So, uh, you know, drinking and driving is a bad thing. We need to uh, be responsible there, and we can all do this again next year. That's true. That's true. Of course, uh, that was the Marine unit that went by. That was the Marine unit, yeah. And if you're driving out Woodward, and you look in your rear view mirror and see a boat coming up behind you from the Oakland County Sheriff's Department, it might be time to pull over, maybe right. call Uber. Just push yourself away from the table and call Uber. <laughs> there you exactly go. exactly right. All right, well, it wouldn't be a parade without the uh, the very large flag that's coming up. We had a little glimpse of it a little while ago. Here's some kids on the side. They look pretty excited, Andy. They do. They're excited for the flag, I think. It's the Royal Oak Varsity hockey team carrying that. They're uh, OA white champs. In 2016, along with Cub Scout Pack 1604 helping carry that big American flag. Great camera work by Mr. Bush out there today. That he is a nice amazing. job. He's going to get trampled, but he's bringing the parade <laughs> to the people of Royal Oak. That is uh, one of the largest flags in the... Uh, in Royal Oak, for well, sure. Yes, for sure, but I think in the uh, free world, too. In the f <laughs> I think it could be. Yeah, it is. It's a uh, measure. And the wind uh, is kicking up, so if they uh, they catch a good gust, we're going to see They're it. gone. That's yeah, right. they're gone. They're gone. Okay. We'll field a new hockey team next year. That's okay. <laughs> We've got okay. the Frank Wendland American Post 253, uh, American Legion Post. It's been part of the Royal Oak uh, community, serving uh, veterans since 1919. Long time. Very, very long time. You know, this is uh, every time I come to do this. Every time I do this, I still get a little chill. This is a great community, and we, we come together and we love parades, don't we? It's unbelievable. It really is, and the people that have shown up for this tonight, is, is this afternoon, nothing short of astonishing with this windy, cold weather. You can't tell, but uh, it's about 13 below zero right now. <laughs> it might be even less than that. There we are looking at the U.S. Air Force Junior ROTC. That's the Frederick Panko, U.S. Air Force Junior ROTC, United States Air Force Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps. Yeah, there's over 120,000 cadets in nearly 900 high schools across the country who participate in this program. I did not know that. The Cadet Corps is under the command of Cadet Colonel Marissa Caudill, a senior at Lance Cruz High School. Very nice. They're going to give us a little uh, close order drill here. Little marching. Future officers right there. Looks like they're being trained well. I wonder if those guns are loaded. Or they're looking for the deer, I think. They right are. There. The deer was a few <laughs> a few displays off. You just had it that way. We saw it. Ah yes. And who's after them? We have the Royal Oak City Commission. We're joined today by the commissioners and their family, and of course, the longest serving mayor in the in the universe uh <laughs> james ellison but not for much longer no no he's newly elected state rep and uh, we're going to be proud to have him in lansing he's going to go up there and uh straighten everything out he's going to kick all the fat cats out make That's sure something gets done up there in lansing and we are Jim fortunate and to have Jody. Uh, oh yeah. hugs around i mean is there, is there could there be more hugging with those two no no i think we should Hope they come over and give us a hug. I hope so too. Yeah, and the commission too. We we love those commission meetings late at night on WROK. Yes, the nonstop entertainment. Well, after that, we got we the, the uh, Cabaret 
Highland Pipe and Drum Band. Before we stop and listen to what they have to uh, to present today, we're dedicated. They are dedicated to the preservation and teaching of the Scottish Highland music. Let's listen. Gotta love bagpipes, baby. Love them. Absolutely gotta love, love them. them. Here we have the Jane Adams Elementary Girl Scouts. Jane Adams is proud to bring the Daisy Scouts, Brownies, and Junior Girl Scouts today to celebrate in the Holiday Magic Parade brought to us by Genesis Credit Union. Thank you very much. And I had no idea Genesis, this is the band Genesis, right? They it have is. a credit union now. They've retired and they've uh, gone on a different uh, Path. Phil Collins and company is winning the money business. There you go. And there's all the brownies and the daisies and the junior Girl Scouts and all that celebrating today with us. They're dressed very warmly, as they should be. <laughs> they need to be, right? It's a large group of brownies and uh, scouts, or daisy scouts. Holy moly, we've got a float. We've got a float. See that? I do, I see that. Now, I'd be... In between, though, the Jane Adams Girl Scouts, we had our credit union. There's no truth to the word, but our credit union and Genesis Credit Union can have a rumble at the end of the parade route. That's what the uh, Air Force ROTC guys with their rifles will control. <laughs> exactly. We laugh. We jest. We but just. the our credit union has been in here, our community, since 1959. And they've got a good portion of my uh, savings. There. Yes. What's left of it? Yeah, what's left of it. We have the uh, parade company. That's a tree house, it looks like. In fact, it's the official tree house of the uh, Royal Oak community. It's the tree of innovation. I love it. And this is one of the parade floats that will be at the uh, Detroit Parade down on Thanksgiving Day, downtown Detroit. So we're fortunate to have some of those wonderful displays. There you see. That's our credit union with uh, our group. That's Corny the Acorn, isn't it? Is that who that is? Yes, I thought so. Okay. And the Northwood Elementary Schools, of course, their cute little girls wrapped up uh, as Christmas presents. Wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year is the message that they're uh, bringing to us today. We should dress like that, Andy. <laughs> we should dress like that next year, Andy. Yes, we should. Just, just box ourselves up and, and ship ourselves somewhere warm if it's a day like this. Yes. Oh, uh, we got it. We got the bands coming now. That's always good. Bring on the music! Absolutely, the Royal Oak High School Marching Band, 107 members strong, is proud to represent this school and the Royal Oak community at home football games, community events, and important civic ceremonies, including the Memorial Day and Veterans Day festivities. And with them today, we have the reigning homecoming queen, Mackenzie Blackwell, escorted by her king, Christian Borski. Now, were you ever named a king or a queen of anything, Carlo? Um, not a king. Not a king. No, just a queen. Yes. Okay, you were the queen of your high school. Yes. I get it. Okay. Well, we got more music. Maybe we should uh, stop this. Maybe we should stop talking. This banter and listen to what they can prevent, present for us. Here they are. Great performance there, I'll tell you. They're doing well. That's Sound the first fantastic. division Royal Oak High School. Uh, first division in quotes. Royal Oak High School marching band. They have 107 members. That's awesome. Their band motto is Ravenous Pursuit of Excellence. I see what they did there. Yeah, you see what they did yeah, there. Ravenous I like it. 
that's the Royal Oak Ravens. And behind them, they've, the varsity dance team is joining them. There are the ladies. These, uh, these ladies perform at uh, home basketball and football games. I understand. They do. And they uh, bring that spirit, just like they're doing today, moving those pom-poms around, keeping warm. Yes, of course. <laughs> and it's the Shrine Lancers. Bringing up the rear behind the Daisy Girl Scout, she's 75906 from Helen Keller Elementary. Now the Shriners drive their own little cars, and these are Plymouth Prowlers replicas, okay? And they are led by director Dave Talbot. Their motto is, we drive so kids can walk. That's a, that's a great, uh, great motto, I'll it's, tell you. It's fantastic. The Shriners have been instrumental in helping children of all uh, ages get the help they need in hospitals for years and uh, we, we thank them very much for their service. I think next year we should talk to them Andy and see if the Lancers would uh, be willing to do a little demolition derby out there. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, yeah. I love that idea. Remember the one year the wheel fell off the... Uh, we had a wheel, wheel, yeah. You picked a bad time to leave me loose wheel. <laughs> I just walked right into that one. Yes, <laughs> Gotta love the Lancers, gotta love them. Yeah, well, after that, we have the uh, Imagine Theater. Imagine Entertainment operating more than 150 movie screens in 18 locations, including Star Lanes Bowling right here in Royal Oak. And they enjoy the honor and distinction of being named Detroit's best movie theater Several years running now by the Free Press, the News, and WDIV. That's the trifecta of uh, news that's, outlets. That's the holy grail. Yeah. What that is. Once you've gotten that, you're you're, you're done. And, of course, uh, we have the Edmondson Elementary Girl Scouts. We are the Girl Scouts of Edmond Elementary. They want everyone to know. That's, of course, is in Madison Heights. But this is a community parade. It is. They want us also to know that their group includes Daisy, Brownie, and Junior Troops. Kindergarten through fifth grade. Doug Thompson's fire truck is always a mainstay in our, uh, our parade. He makes it to the Memorial Day parade too, I think. Yeah, this is a 1978 Ford F700 truck with a Han fire truck body built by Han Corporation of Hamburg, Pennsylvania. I thought I recognized that body style. That's right, how it is that or the other one? I knew it was one of the two. This is actually from the community of Sedan, Kansas. So, but after them, who do we have? We have the Redford Township Unicycle Club. And every year, uh, you and I struggle to uh, challenge each other to get out there and do what these ladies and gentlemen are doing. But I know we couldn't. Not it's even close. I mean, that is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Look how high up there he is. How does he not have multiple fractures. Maybe we don't know what the practice process is. I think he works through the pain. He must. <laughs> He's yeah. got to, but the, de the balance is what gets me. This season, they're wrapping up their 41st year of parading in the Southeast Michigan for Redford Township Unicycle. Of course, if you want information, and I'm sure all of you do, drop what you're doing, pick up a piece of paper, and write down this website, rtuc.org. And there you have it. All the information you need about unicycles will be on that website. Uh oh, we got one down. We got a unicyclist down. Unicyclist down, unicyclist down. Ooh. Call in some air support. Really? It's not a joke. Is he okay? I think this is, uh, we're ready for, uh, hopefully they can get this on camera. They're going to do a little bit of a jump. Ready, set, go. There it is. Oh, they hit us full. Nice. I thought I thought it was an accident waiting to happen. Uh -huh. Bring out the backboard. <laughs> that was a pretty cool jump, though. I liked it. Yeah, not only are you on a unicycle, you're jumping human bodies. That's okay, impressive. I get it. We are, we are not worthy. We definitely are not worthy, no. But they're out here. Bless their hearts. They come to all these parades and they do. They, they fight it. They do a good job. After the unicyclists, we have the uh, goldfish. Swim Club. I don't know if we can grab a quick shot of them. They are uh, a 
Premier Learn to Swim facility, providing developmentally appropriate water safety and year-round swim lessons in a safe, kid-friendly environment. You know what got me about goldfish is, Carlo, they, they keep the, the pool at 90 degrees. That's body temperature. 90, 90 degrees. When I had swim lessons at the Y back in the day in Redford, I yeah. think the pool was about 45 degrees temperature-wise. They did that on purpose. And, you know, I've really never quite thought it. Never warmed up yes. from that yet. I've still not thought out. And just, I actually got warm about two days ago, and I'm freezing again. You're, but uh, you're afraid of swimming pools now. I now I am, yeah, absolutely. But they, that's they, goldfish. They do a great job. They do a great job. Four to one student ratio, I understand. Student teacher ratio. 90 degree pool. That, that Can you is, imagine? That's hot. Oh, love it. Absolutely. It's Pools in my water. neighborhood are always body temperature. I don't know why. They were just. But anyway, I All digress. Right. You did digress. There's the Girl Scout Troop 71628 and Girl Scout Troop 76358. These are from Keller Elementary. And they're, they're made up of kindergarten, uh, kindergarten kids at Helen Keller Elementary and uh, Brownie Keller Elementary. Yes, and here we have, of course, as promised, we have the Borgo Sisters uh, School of Dance. Let's and be quiet for a moment and see what they have to offer. Let us. Got my toe tap. Sounds good. I think the Rockets will be calling any day. Oh, yeah. Some, some uh, reinforcements. Future Rockets. That's right. I think the Borgo uh, School of Dance has been around Royal Oak for uh, about 117 years, I think, isn't it? Hard to believe. Isn't that something? And Mainstay that's, uh, of the community. Came with the uh, Art Van Furniture Float as well. Another float there you see that's uh, going to be in the... I almost said Hudson's... Thanksgiving Day Parade. No, no, I'm not dating right. myself there, am I? We don't. That, this is much better. This, this is, is a better Genesis one. Credit Union. <laughs> That's right. The Art Van, uh, of course, we all know the Art Van is a family business, and uh, holidays are all about families. You got to admit, Andy. They sure are. And buying furniture. Yes. Free delivery too. They pay tax. Now, after that, the Cub Scout Pack 1607, which is based at Northwood Elementary here in Royal Oak. And they've been an active part of this community for 70 years. You can see some of their folks. They're dressed in costumes to celebrate the most famous Cub Scout tradition of all, the Pinewood Derby. Oh, yes. I was a Pinewood Derby uh, participant. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. I was in probably five or six. We took first place once, which was a modern engineering marvel considering what I was up against. Me, I'm talking like I was the one that made the car. But, uh, yeah, I was up against some local in automotive engineers making yeah, those Pinewood Derby cars. We always had the kid with his dad who was, uh, you know, working for Chrysler. <laughs> yeah, right. He always won. He always won everything. He was uh, in the wind tunnel with it, you know. This is a universal uh, world pageant uh, participant, I'm pretty sure, here. It is. National pageant system that celebrates the beauty, intelligence, and culture appreciation and style of today's teens. We have her as... The lovely and talented Miss Sophia Fasano. Oh, I love that name. She's a Royal Oak native, an eighth grader at Royal Oak Middle School. And she is your Junior Teen Universal World 2017 winner. Give it a shout. Give it a shout. I couldn't imagine being named that. I mean, I've dreamt about it, but Sophia is actually it. Sophia. Sophia Fasano. And we hear more music. We this hear and see more music. This, of course, is the Ferndale High School marching band. The Golden Eagle Marching Band. Let's see what they have to offer.
They're a nine-time Michigan Competing Bands Association state champs. Including this year, they've won their ninth state champion just two weeks ago. Awesome. Congratulations to the Golden Eagles, the screaming Golden Eagles. <laughs> We got a boisterous group of uh, Cub Scouts coming down here. These are Girl Scouts, 71 446. We're about to have a dog fight, too, just off to the side of our broadcast location. There's, there's, there's Great Danes, there's we got Pit Bulls, we Pit, got it all. Yeah, going we've on got here. everybody here. Of course, that's what you do. You bring a dog to the parade, and everyone starts to fight. Everyone freaks out, that's right, especially the other dog. Yeah. Well, after the Ferndale Band, we got an English Gardens. They are a local and family owned six full service stores, two seasonal Christmas stores here in Metro Detroit. Big sponsors of the uh, Holiday Magic Parade. And they're also uh, assisting in lighting up downtown Royal Oak this holiday season. And be sure to join us on December 1st when we'll turn on our lights here in downtown. The magic switch, I just hope we've paid the bills. No, oh, I hope so too. The Royal Oak uh, so embarrassing. Children's Choir, of course. Uh, it's a local performance group serving Oakland County with students from third to seventh grade. Actually, they're going to be traveling to Disney World next June to perform. I'm going to Disney World. All right. They teach music, theater, dance, and leadership skills all at the same time. A little still walker there. We've got a very tall uh, young lady. That's got to be tough. Oh yeah, as if it's not bad enough in this <laughs> yeah. wind. Now you're, you know, you're eight and a half feet tall, and you're, you're trying to fight it. And you get like twelve sets of knees there too. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna make it. She made it past the uh, viewing booth. That's good. I think that's the uh, Matthews Hargraves Chevrolet. Three Silverado trucks from the parade company. Another float that you're going to see here first, and then downtown next week. They want to remind you to stop by for lease specials, $149 a month. See the dealer for details. What a deal. Yeah, we, hard we had some of those uh, restaurant people. There's Andiamo, you see their banner. This is uh, the Royal Restaurant Association, uh, including Andiamo and Lily Seafood. And we always invite you to take advantage of Royal Oak's many innovative concepts this holiday season. Whether you have a small dinner party or a large <laughs> catering event, give them a call. Now, there is a luminary, if ever there was one. We're talking Miss Michigan over here. Miss, Miss Michigan, Michigan amazing. amazing. Yes, mm -hmm. not just Miss Michigan. The Miss Michigan mediocre was uh, that's kind yes, of yes, she she the amazing that. girl. And she's the newly crowned uh, Miss Michigan amazing Tamika Van Tiflin. She is. Oh yes, yeah, she is. She's up there freezing, but she's still smiling. She's, she's amazing. Waving. That's why. Well, that's right. She's amazing. Of course she is. What? Okay. Tamika was adopted as a young child. She has 20 okay. siblings, by the way. So just a, a little bit of tidbit of information there on her. Now we have some kind of contraption there. That's uh, not there. That's still Miss Michigan Amazing Michigan. So behind her is a, yeah, there we go. That's some kind of contraption. I don't know what that is, Andy. Well, what I think, think we're, we're dealing with a Circumungus. They're out of Livonia. And uh, behind that wild bunch of cycles, you've got, a, you've got a party bike where everyone pedals while having a great time. The Dicycle was what we saw, the two large wheel machine. And uh, there was a monocycle. We got a cherry picker unicycle. They're just coming fast and furious. Look at everything going on there. We got Brightside Dental. Uh, we've got Circumungus. We've got the Kiwanis Club. That's the dicycle right there. The dicycle. There That's you have it. Called? It's a new term for me. How about that? I'd like to see that. Uh, get that on the Paint Creek uh, bike route. Of course, we got Miss Paula and the Candy Bandits coming up here. So. They're yeah. going to drown us out, so we might as well just we stop talking. We might as well just stop talking and listen to what they've got.
The offshoot of the candy band. Ah, Maybe. I see what they did there. The ex uh, Royal Oak show guests. They were uh, they were quite a show. That was quite a show. Whatever yeah. happened to that show? I don't know. We should get that show going again someday. The Royal Oak show. Get the band together again. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, yeah. but in the meantime, we've got a parade to finish here. Gosh darn it. Yeah. And, and who you know do we what? Have here? We've if got you have something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? I'd call the Ghostbusters Detroit. That's who I'd call. You're darn right you are. And here they are shooting their. Uh, shooting something. You know, I think it's uh, asbestos. Littering, whatever is that, that is. is asbestos? It, it's asbestos, That's yes. Right. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. <laughs> and this will be the last parade for a few years after the uh, <laughs> EPA gets a hold of. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ghostbusters. You've, You've helped us out here. squelched our on all future broadcasts. No more parade for us. <laughs> of course, that is the, uh, and we missed the 4th Street Auto, of course. I don't want to miss them. 4th Street Auto has been on Troy Street and 4th Street, hence the name, since 1973. It's hard to believe, Andy. I've used them before. They do good work over there. They do. Speaking of paws, as we weren't, but now we are. Yes, we are. We can't get rid of paws. He is, you know what, year-round, this guy, year-round. He is the mascot, of course, if anyone doesn't know, of the Detroit Tigers. His height is, how high do you think he is? I don't know. Maybe about 20 stripes tall. I would think so. And I wonder if, if he has any favorite foods. I think he does. I've heard it's hot dogs with ketchup and pepperoni pizza. And where do you think he likes to vacation? Lakeland, Florida. Okay. Boy, you do know your Paws trivia. I do. I'm I do amazed. indeed. I'm after amazed. Paws and after the Ghostbusters, we had the smart uh, bus folks. They're connecting people who do their work, school, medical appointments, shopping centers. Entertainment and cultural events. Yes. So we appreciate that. And we got more music coming too. Who's Get that? Smart. We, we missed the Cub Scouts 1627 from Keller. Lots of scouts. But coming up here, Andy, and then I'll be quiet. We have the Motor City Heat Marching Band. Let's listen. They're not just making music, they got moves. No, they got the moves. There ain't no band like a Detroit band because a Detroit <laughs> band don't stop. That's what the, that's the that's model. I've always said that too. You know? Yeah, yeah. And they're still moving out there. This is a, they're keeping warm anyway, I, I bet you. They're not feeling the cold at all. Oh, we got a, we got a minion. We got a minion from Despicable Me 1 and 2. What uh, what do we have there, Andy? We I, that's some, a we got a some Cub Scouts here. Uh, that's a long cat. Girl that's Scouts. Whoa! Well, what do we got here? Uh, that's Cat Boy. That's Cat Boy. What cat we, Boy, of course. What would a parade be without Cat Boy from PJ Masks from Disney? Then we have the Lessinger Scouts from Lessinger Elementary over in Madison Heights. There we got some uh, happy Royal Oakers. Mugging for the camera. You know, we saw a little minion. Is that is that proper English to have a single minion, or is that? Seems like there should be more minions. Right. I is don't it know. A minion yeah. or minions. We got the Lessinger Scouting Group here, multi scouting group from Lessinger Elementary in Madison Heights. Of course, this makes up. Scouts of all ages, brownies, grades three, grades two, first grade and kindergartners coming together here in Royal Oak to celebrate with us. And there's a minion again, a single minion. And Catboy, of course, bringing up the rear. Little photo op there for Minion and Catboy. I like that costume. It's nice. Worry-free landscape. They do a lot of stuff around Royal Oak. They empty the garbage cans, keep the grasses, or the parks grass cut. 
My lips are starting to freeze. Andy, I can't That's talk right. anymore. <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> Just keep them moving or else they'll completely freeze up. Keep them moving. Keep them moving. Of course, if you're looking for uh, premier landscaping, go to worryfreeoutdoors.com or check them on Facebook. They come with music, don't they? They do. Kind of a worry-free kind of music. We still have the scouts here. Oh, there we have a singer. Now, is this the Detroit School of Rock and Pop? We do think that it is. I think it might, yes. Yes, it is. Let's listen. much Mariah Carey ladies and wow. gentlemen that I've is her they have music lessons over there check them out you Detroit. go over there and learn to play any instrument you want that's right Detroit, Detroit School of Rock and Pop Music located here in Royal Oak no rockers are left behind here in Royal Oak <laughs> and I think here we have the Detroit Roller Derby yeah the Derby Girls Derby Girls you know our league these Detroit Derby girls, they're internationally ranked, recognized all over the world. Currently, our all-star team is number eight in the world, and you can see them perform at the Masonic Temple in downtown Detroit on December 17th. And if you've ever been down there, they uh, they skate on a flat track. Remember the I've heard days? of that. Yeah, I want to go see them one of these times for sure. I remember the Boston Bombers. They used to, yeah. they used to have the bank track. But yeah, I, yeah. But I age, I'm showing my age now. You can learn more about the Detroit Derby Girls if you go to DetroitDerbyGirls.com or go on their Facebook. Of course, everybody's got a Facebook nowadays. Seems that way. After them, we've got Skyward Real Estate Group and their float. And uh, they're focused on residential and condominium sales in and around the urban areas that border the Woodward Corridor. What would a parade be without the Skyward real estate float? Nothing. There you go. That's why we have them. It's a great float, too. A little catchy, uh, catchy little motto there, rural to urban. That's Royal Oak. I get it. Here's the uh, Royal Oak. Well, there's a dog, actually, but two uh, dogs. We had the First United Methodist Church there a moment ago. They're undergoing renovation this winter, but uh, they'll continue to serve the homeless with daily bag lunch and hot meals. We should go over there right now, actually. Yes, if they have a hot, hot meal, meal, I'd be interested. I'm all over that. Yeah. How's your toes feeling? Toes are okay. Lips are a little numb. Fingers are numb. Yeah. A little bit numb in the lips department. Okay. Look at this dog out there performing. Look at that. Can backwards. you get your dog to do that? Absolutely not. The dog would look at me like I was from another planet if I tried to get him to do that. That's uh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. That's the uh, classic canine group. Going to go home and train my dog as soon as I uh, get home. 16 years old. Okay. I'm sure you, he'll be eager to. You can to teach an old dog new tricks. No, we'll find out. That's, that's the classic canine. That was a show put on by the Classic Canine. That's the name of the actual company. Followed by the Cast Tech High School Marching Band. This is always a treat. They're feeling good about themselves. They're in the state playoffs still. Oh, yeah. And uh, there's Royal Oak Middle School there. Uh, that's the robotics group, as a matter of fact, with Royal Oak Middle School. They're seeking to inspire young people to be science and technology leaders. But then there's the Cast Tech Band, so let's listen in, because they always have something good for us. Always a great show.
Ooh, we're talking about buddy. rhythm and soul. They got more of it oozing out of every pore than anybody. This band travels. Here. This band travels all over the country and uh, bringing excitement and uh, delight to every audience that they appear in front of. Yeah, they're phenomenal. You know, some of the kids that graduate uh, and move on to other things, they've received millions of dollars in scholarship. They have performed all over the place. Canadian parades, the Orange Bowl Festival, in the winner to the 2013 inaugural first place festival and parade of champions. So congratulations to the Cast Tech High School Marching Band, and thank you very much for coming out here today in Royal Oak. That's a tough act to follow, but stagecrafters are going to step up. This is the cast and crew of the upcoming Stage Crafters Youth Theater Show, The Fantastic Mr. Fox. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the show opens on Thursday, December 8th, and tickets are now on sale. Get them while they last. And after then, there we see a nice shot. Good job on the camera with the uh, Stage Crafters sign there. After the Stage Crafters, oh, we had a Hollywood holiday market, I'm sorry. Been serving Royal Oak since 1954. They're a staple here in town. And uh, so much good food over there at Holiday Market. They have cooking classes. And if you've never been in, make it a point to stop over there. You got to go. You got to try it out. Got some Girl Scouts and Cub Scouts after that from Northwood. Santa's helpers. You got, the, of course, the Genesis uh, Credit Union banner. That's not Phil Collins. No, I, I would recognize him, and that's not him. They got a band, though. They do. And a pretty cool band. That's Capow, is a band from Royal Oak. And they'll play party favorites with a twist. Let's, let's see what they got, Andy. All right. Sing it if you know, come on. Sounding good. It's always good to hear a local band. A little bit of Kiss by Prince. Liking it. After them, we've got the rooftop landing reindeer, which means something can't be far behind, or someone, I should say. Oh, boy. I'm I'm all a, a Twitter here. Is that <laughs> yeah, what about Twitter? <laughs> yeah, no, the reindeer, they better watch out, because those ROTC guys, they got guns, so just be careful. But this landing reindeer group from this farm in Clare, Michigan, you would swear they wouldn't fly, but they do. They do. They can uh, they get off the ground pretty good. Of course, I've never actually seen them. We had the Buffalo Wild Wings banner just after uh, the landing reindeer, but before the one and only... Mr. and Mrs. Claus. It is it Mrs. or Ms.? That's politically correct, Ms. Okay. We got Santa and Ms. Claus. Uh, they'll take their place uh, at the parade, after the parade, until 5 o'clock at Skyward Real Estate. And if you've been a good boy or girl, you can go over there and uh, tell them what you're looking for. Andy, uh, I'm I was get afraid I'm going to ask for too much, though, you know. I always get the same thing. I get a lump of coal every oh. single year. I don't know why, but uh, maybe I'll go talk to the, to the you know guy. What? Yeah, and see get over to Skyward Real Estate. Maybe sit on ask his, for some real estate. Right, sit on his lap and say, hey, what's up with the lump of coal, man? I, you know, I, I get it every year. <laughs> well, Andy, you know what this means. As we see Mr. and Ms. Claus go by. I can't believe it. We've got the 2016 Holiday Magic Parade sponsored by Genesis Credit Union. I think it's in the history books today. And, what an uh, outstanding event. We want to thank everybody for coming out here, too. They really they showed up in numbers, Royal Oak. We're proud of you. No matter the weather, it doesn't matter. It's windy, it's cold, but it's the holiday season, and we're in the spirit now. We're in the spirit, and this means that, uh, you know, Christmas is right around the bend, and, uh, you know, I just, from me and Andy, Merry Christmas to everyone in Royal Oak and the surrounding areas, and don't forget, you got to row the boat. Row the boat. Western Michigan, let's do it for them and U of M and all the rest. But thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to all of our troops who are out there keeping us safe. And to all of you for watching, please be safe this holiday season. Have fun. Give everybody a 
We love a big hug and kiss. And hopefully we'll see you again here next year. Until next our year. Holiday Parade. Until next year, we say Merry Christmas. Andy, thank you again.